Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. It's Scott here. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, turn your post notifications on, and smash that like button. So for today's video, we're going to be coming at you with a sneaker review of something that I think is personally super underrated. You guessed it, we are going to be talking about the Nothing But Net Jordan 1 Lowe's. So I think this is a fire colorway. They did release a pair of 7s in this same colorway, but those weren't really hot, especially since, honestly, who's trying to cop 7s? The 7s are are no disrespect to Michael Jordan, but they are not a hot sneaker and not really in demand. They kind of aren't, can't really compare to the ones, but since they did one in this colorway, man, this, I really like this. The leather on it's really good quality. The details on this sneaker, I think they did this justice. They got really nice tumble leather as well as synthetic material for the print design going around all the sneaker as well as the Nike swoosh being leather as well. And it's just a very nice, well executed sneaker. I personally like it. I love Loved rocking these on feet. I actually did invest quite a bit. I didn't like how these did have a higher retail than normal Jordan 1 lows. So these do go for 120, whereas most Jordan 1 lows do go for 90 bucks. But I think it's because it's the SE and also they use a synthetic material. That's probably why they are having a higher retail because the normal Jordan 1 low SEs go for 100, but this is pretty steep for the retail price. Actually, Hold up, so I was checking out the boxes. I was gonna show you guys what the boxes look like and then something caught my eye. I just realized that I got the retail wrong on these. So, these actually did retail for 110. As you can see, it's just a normal Air Jordan 1 Low SE box. USD 110 and I did buy some from nike.com and I was checking the receipts and I did pay 110 for these off Nike but for whatever reason I got these off East Bay I got four pairs and then two from Nike East Bay charged me 120 plus tax on it so I'm not really sure what the deal was with that but I ended up overpaying on that so that actually is a little upsetting that I ended up paying over retail on these not exactly sure what happened there or why East Bay because East Bay is a normal retailer store so they should be charging normal retail not exactly sure why they upcharged on it I guess it's just gonna write it off as a loss and since I am holding long term anyways it doesn't really matter to me because I'm gonna wait until these appreciate to over 200 and then flip the rest of them and rock my personal so I guess I just got shorted about like 10 bucks per pair I guess it can't be helped right now they are sitting at a lot of malls so you can probably find them for below retail from a reseller or a third party or you might even be able to get a discount or get these on sale so I ended up buying about six pairs. These ones are, I was kind of iffy about bulk buying because it's not a very hot colorway like the Game Royals or the Shattered Backboards or the Bread Reverse Lows. I got a lot of those as you can see, but these ones, I took a gamble. I think eventually they have to go up. It's a hot sneaker. It might not be as hot as the Breads and it does have a higher retail, so the profit margin isn't gonna be as high, but I still think they have super good potential. So I say it's a definite good buy. The details on it the quality now that we have taken a good look at the sneakers let's go ahead and check them bad boys out on feet because that is what's really important you guys are going to be rocking these
So the overall rating, I gotta say, this has amazing comfort. Jordan 1 Lows are my definite go-to when it comes to rocking like every day. They're super comfortable, they look fresh, they give you that nice look of the original Jordan 1s, and they are very affordable. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and give this like an 8.5 out of 10. You really just cannot go wrong with this. Obviously, you could get better, maybe like 9 out of 10, or even 10 out of 10, if you go with the original colors like the breads, or even the shattered backboards. These shattered backboard 1 Lows, easy, 10 out of 10. The price point on these were insane and as you can see I've rocked these quite a bit These actually were on sale and were crazy bricks sat for the longest time now They're going for around like 200 to 250 depending on size So that just goes to show sometimes you can't be sleeping on the bricks and these ones are another example Nothing but net Jordan 1 lows. I definitely recommend copying so that's gonna pretty much wrap it up for the video Let me know what you guys think of the nothing but net Jordan 1 lows or Jordan 1 lows in general and make sure you guys comment down below any questions you guys might have or any thoughts or if you have any other video ideas just comment down and make sure you guys stay tuned for more videos and until next time we'll see y'all in the next one